afternoon, my friends. Namaste, namaskar, kese ho? Everything is bohota chao over here with the bro, Raul. Hello, everyone. Namaste. Namaste, namaste. Hey, guys, we are. You're probably wondering how do we get in this tuk tuk? What are we doing? Well, we were downtown in Udaipur and we're actually going to head over to one of the other lakes that we haven't shown you in any of the other videos yet. And what's the name of this lake? Fateh Sagar Lake. Fateh yeah, Sagar Lake yeah. we're going to. And so it's about two kilometers away. We've got a tuk-tuk here for about 100 rupees. And we're gonna be showing you all around this lake, things to do, maybe even hop on a boat or a jet ski. I guess we'll see what happens. beautiful lake we got a boat ripping by a speedboat we can already tell that in this lake the boats go much much faster I think in the lake where the Taj is at they must have limited regulations and no probably private boats are allowed to go over there that's just my assumption at the other lake because we didn't really see any boats other than the Taj boat and the one that takes you to the palace here though I want to say that's where they must pick up drop off the boats so many shops around this way as you can see, hello Udaipur, good afternoon. Wow, this is a beautiful area guys. All along here we have windy roads, we have people taking photos from here. We've got a lot going on. Oh, we got some videos going on. Namaskar. Hey. <laughs> All right, we got the videographers out too. Chale chalo baby. Hello. Namaskar. Hello. All right. Wow. I'm already loving this side of Udaipur, my friends. Make sure you visit both lakes. Haven't even showed you anything yet, but already the energy, the excitement here. This looks like this spot. All right, chale chale. Danivad Baisab. Thank you. Chale chale. So we got the aquarium here, yeah? Largest aquarium in India? Oh, okay. Can we say uh, Best aquarium in India? Yeah. All right. Worth going in? Yeah. All right. Two tickets, please. One Indian. Cards are accepted here. All right. Hmm? Cash only. Cash only. 230? 430. 430. Danevad Baisab. Alright, let's head on in here. I'm excited for this guys. Had no idea, literally, we found out in the tuk-tuk that we're going to an aquarium. I love adventures like this because we just really don't know what the day is going to look like. So it's just as much of a surprise for you guys as it is for us. So it looks like this is where we're going in. Kese Ho, Bai Sao. And how long does it take to walk through the whole thing? I did, yes. Uh, how long to walk through the whole thing? Uh how time it on the Gumnin? Half an hour is complete. One hour to complete? Perfect. What's your name please? Mac, M-A-C. Click on that, click on that, click on that. Raul, I think you need a shot, yeah? <laughs> uh, Danny Vaughn, thank you. Alright, so we went to the aquarium, yeah? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we've got ducks, wild ducks over here. What's quacking? You get it? Like what's cracking? <laughs> World's worst jokes strike again. So we got a couple of them just hanging out in there. They, they seem like they're looking for some sort of chow or something. Mm. Then we got some big goldfish in the one next door. That looks pretty sweet. Well, guys, it's gonna be a dark one. We're going in here. Well, let's see if there's gonna be anything we can see. Well, so they weren't joking when they said massive aquarium. What are these things over here? They look like. Catfish and swordfish? Not okay. swordfish, I don't even know. Something. We got the sleeper down there that keeps the cage nice and clean. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow, there's some interesting looking fish. And I wonder, are these all uh, Indian fish or they're from all over the world? That is the real question. And what are we looking at here? Look at this thing. It's got like a massive fin. I wonder if that means it can swim faster. It's like just like, it almost looks like a sharp fin turned upside down. So this is under the sun Udaipur Aquarium, 410 to get in, so for both of us, 430 to get in. So for both of us, yeah, just about six bucks. Corner price a little bit more. 
All right. So I wonder if we're gonna see any like eels or anything. These are like some sort of like cousin of the goldfish right there. Got something going on with his eye. Oh, that one looks like he's been in a fight. He's got like a scar on the side. And the other one's like, what you looking at, my gay? Huh? Huh? You talking to me? You talking to me, he said? This guy right there. You talking to me? All right. Very nice aquarium, though. And we've got this big thing. Wow, it almost looks like this fish is in the army because it has like camouflage looking stripes on it. Very interesting looking. All right, we have entered into the next room here. So it seems like the uh, displays are changing a bit. We've got this guy. Namaskar. Keseho, sire. This guy's, whoa. <laughs> Rahul just hopped inside the aquarium. What's going on here? <laughs> Get out from there, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Raul looks like he's swimming around. Look at this. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I'm gonna go inside one. Oh, it's kind of sketchy. Ah, I just smashed my head. Holy crap, this is weird. Wow. Hello there, Saya. I have never seen an aquarium like that where you can literally go inside. Oh, there he is. Raul's still in there. <laughs> he doesn't know how to get out. He's trapped. Hey, can, can you film me going in there? <laughs> We're in the aquarium right now. I can't get out. I can't get out, sir. Oh, I need a chicken die. Hello. Hello. Holy moly. I think screaming in there. My ears are ringing. Because the, the sound is just bouncing. Wow, I'm talking very loud now. <laughs> oh, All right, being able to go inside of that fish aquarium definitely spiced it up a little bit. Now we're going to go over here. See. Oh, virtual reality. Are you trying to go underwater, bro? Underwater, yeah? Underwater. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Chale, chalo, bro. Let's go. Yeah, you're coming in here. So scary for me. Yeah? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, Chale. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we gotta get the tickets. How much are they? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. What do you think, Raul? Worth it? <laughs> I don't know. I told you I'm afraid of water. Yeah. It's fifteen minutes. Uh, I don't know. It's good? Scary? Like, uh, scary. 10 minute ocean, so that's a good last chance. Five minutes. <laughs> what do you think? As you say. Either or. It doesn't matter to me. Are you also trying? Maybe. I'm indifferent. Yeah. You seem like you don't care much. Eh, yeah, eh, yeah, then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Alright, we'll save it for later, guys. As much as I want to show you that, I don't know how much, like, since you can't see what we're seeing in virtual reality, I don't know how fun that'll be uh, for you guys. But, whoa, we just saw some crazy fish right here. Look at this thing. Look at those teeth on him. Don't bite, my friend. Don't bite. He's like, I would literally eat your finger off in a second if you put that thing in there. It's like, I know you would, my guy. Don't worry. And what in the heck are you? Wow, holy moly, you survived evolution and did something crazy nobody's ever seen before. That is very interesting. What do we got going on over here? Some more goldfish? I wonder if this is open top, you can try and grab them. I'm not going to though. Try cutting a 3D picture? Mm, tempting, but no thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's see here. Well, seems like we got the smaller fish tanks here. Really tiny fish in here. Oh, they've got massage chairs. That looks bohota cha. Might have to try one of these. Kidney rupee? How much? 150. 150. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have to try out the. Oh, you gotta get a ticket first. Ticket. All right. Oh. Yeah. Put your feet in there, yeah? <laughs> All right, yeah, you're definitely doing that too, bro. Yeah, yeah, we'll take two, please. Should I pay with a card? Yeah. All right, 
right, so we're gonna be getting a. Uh, uh, have you ever had your uh, feet eating my fish? <laughs> no, no. It's gonna be the first time then. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, this is sweet. Honestly, this is the first aquarium I've gone to where you can actually put your feet in one of the fish tanks. <laughs> I like that. New experience. Mm, it is, it is. In the Dubai Aquarium, you can snorkel in it, but it's also like $500, so I didn't end up doing it. You've got a cash in here, too. How long do I put my feet in for? How many minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, wow. It's going to be a uh, full cleaning. I hope those fish are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect to be feeding the fish today? No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no water thing I like. Yeah. <laughs> I just like to drink water only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this would be like swimming for you. Alright, 150 so that's two dollars to get our feet clean. Oh, so this is this is the one I'm gonna be trying out, yeah? Surround you and immediately start eating. Whoa! Uh, Floor might touch me, and I thought I was open. Keep them up. Don't touch the ground. Guys, yeah, the GoPro battery died, but I will say after after the first like 45 seconds, you get used to it. But at first, when they all just like jump on you, it's the weirdest feeling. But a good feeling for sure. Ooh. You can just feel them like eating all of like the dead skin off you. I mean, these guys were hungry. You saw them just swarm me within like a millisecond. I think one of them's eating a scab though, because I can feel like a, a whole bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel, oh, it's when, they, it's, it's when they get in between your toes that it really, really tickles you. And then you're like, oh, that is, there's some very ticklish parts there, guys. I'll tell you that. Oh, oh, that one kind of nibbled. He must have got a big chunk of some sort of skin there. Let me get the, uh, the POV. But as you can see, like there's got to be hundreds. Can you ask them like how many uh, fish are in there? Two, 200 to 300. Wow. So we're feeding 200 to 300 hungry mouths right now. We're just chowing down. We've even got some getting up there on my legs. Holy crap. This is the wildest thing I've ever experienced. If you saw in my Sri Lanka video, when we went to that waterfall, there was maybe like 20 of them that were like biting my feet. And that was intense. But like when you have hundreds at once, that's when it's it's crazy. Wow. You, gonna be, you ready for this, Raul? No, no, no. I don't want to. Oh, you have to, bro. I, you can't waste the money that I just spent there, bro. Oh yeah, you're up next. And they're hungry, bro. They are hungry. These fish are ready to eat. Yeah, Raul's looking in disbelief. Like, there's no way. Oh. Look at them. They're literally like getting every square inch. What are they called? Ah, okay. Wow. Fish and uh, Galalufa, yeah? Wow. And these things are local? These fish are local to India? Thailand. Oh, to Thailand. Ah, oh, okay. So we, we have some Thai fish that they, yeah, they came all the way over here to uh, have some delicious meals here. Yeah, they are. Wow, they are eating good right now. Holy moly. Yeah, I mean, look at them. They're still eating it. I mean, we've been going for like five, six minutes now, and they're just not giving up. They are just eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the moment. Guys, so if you're not familiar with this, the benefits of fish pedicures include reduce calluses, smooth skin on the feet, exfoliation of dry skin, rough patches. A pedicure done by a human from a trusted salon will do the same. However, and so will at-home use of 
pumice stones or a foot scrub so basically like, this is the exact same type of work that a basically human will do for you but now it is being done by these nice fish so daniavad to the fish for uh, cleaning up the uh, feet that is very nice guys i just pulled my feet out and look at them they're just hovering over the top look at it you put your ankles oh my god if you just tap your foot right down there like they they, they grab on ah oh, he's got me he's got me holy moly that is crazy wow all right that was an experience i'm very glad i did that and these feet are going to be cleaner than ever guys i'm sorry to show you my feet but i just want to show you like so my feet are really smooth and skip ahead of this part if you don't like looking at feet i totally understand but like this is also kind of funny i had a mosquito bite right there that was a scab and they ate the scab off of it so yeah they they cleaned me up but wow that is so smooth that's crazy all right it is raul's turn and he is nervous get ready for this bro hold on hold on don't put him in yet i roll your pants up bro so they don't get all wet <laughs> Raul, Raul's getting a little nervous here. All right, all right. And hover him over for a second. Watch, look at, look at. Yeah, hey, there, but I'll hold him in. <laughs> yeah, hold him in there, bro, or I'm gonna hold you down. Put him in, bro. Put him in. Put him in. They're hungry. You gotta let them eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you can't do it? Put him in bro, you gotta get those feet clean. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, just hold him in there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. See there you go, there you go. The fish are hungry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious. Hold him down there, bro. <laughs> yeah. You can, you can see all of them. Wow, look at They just go straight in. And they're just grasping onto his toes. They're just eating. <laughs> what do you think? Not as, yeah, you get used to it, right? No? <laughs> Only the first minute you squirm a little bit. Then you get used to it. There we go. Now it's good. Yeah, now it's good. Yeah, <laughs> he has survived. Guys, I will tell you, this is the best two dollars I've ever spent in my life. What an experience, you guys! I can't let the fun stop there. We might as well go for the body massage now too for one fifty. All right, we've got the one and there you go. Bonnie Avad. Perfect. All right, so here we go. Body massage time now. Uh, shoes off again, all right? There we go. We'll get that off there. Uh, get these things pulled down. Oh, they're still kind of wet from the fish. All right, guys, we're hopping in the body massage chair. As you can see, we got the feet in these little pockets. The legs are in there. The arms are going to be going here. So I'm actually going to put this down until Raul can take over. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, literally, it's shaking my whole body right now. I've got like four plastic <laughs> circles just oh. like, oh. Wow. Like these are literally body massage chairs of the future because like both my arms are being squeezed right now My neck's being massaged while also like my shoulder blades and oh yeah now it's like pushing me together a bit oh, oh. Wow, especially right after that fish cleaning and now it's like compressing my feet while it's rubbing my neck oh. uh. Yeah, it's literally like gushing oh, oh. Oh my god. This thing is getting deep in the knots. I'm gonna have no more knots after this. <laughs> wow. Guys, I did the other one. I did another massage chair in Jaipur's mall. But I feel like these chairs are stronger. Like the like the plastic balls in the chairs are like really pushing in and getting a deep tissue massage. It's like borderline, it almost hurts in a good way. Uh, oh for a buck or for 150, so uh, yeah, it's another two bucks. So 20 minutes of relaxation over here for four dollars is a pretty damn good deal if you ask me. Oh, now they've got my feet and it's like rubbing like the balls on my feet. Like the it's insane. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. Oh. Guys, we have just been teleported to a full state of relaxation. We're slowly moving back, and 
Are you good? All right. Oh, wow, that was incredible. That was the best 300 rupees I've spent in all of India, was getting these two massage chair and the fish right there. Did not expect that when I entered the aquarium, to be honest. All right, looks like we're going up here now. The next part of the aquarium, everyone has their shoes off. Let's take my shoes off again. And hold it, hold it. Now we can walk over it. I thought we were gonna put our feet in here. That's crazy. Wow. So all the tables have fish in them, don't they? They're like aquarium tables. Look at this. <laughs> Here's your table. Here's your aquarium. That's quite funny. This is pretty sweet. Have you ever eaten at a table? Sat at a table that has an aquarium, bro? No, no. no. First time? First time. Yeah, this is unique. I'm not entirely certain why we have our shoes off, though. Maybe it's to keep the glass clean. All right, our fun is ended. Donny Vlad Baisal. Thank you. Thank you. Shukriya, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. That was the aquarium tour. Hope you guys enjoyed coming with us. To be honest, that is not what I expected when going on the aquarium tour. I did not expect to be getting massages and foot pedicures. But uh, sometimes you gotta go with the flow, see what happens. Chale, chalo, sir. Here is the exit, sadly. Departure time. Oh, we're back in the hot heat. Let's see, what do we got going on over here? Just the toilet? All right. Let's say we've seen it all then. Oof, gonna need a cold drink once we walk around a little bit. Forgot it was this hot out. Dunnivad. All right, so we got the river, the uh, lake walk right here. So this is quite nice, as you can see, like coming up here, not much besides that, but really not much trash anywhere. I do like to see that there's a lot of waste receptacles over here. Just because like, to be quite honest with you guys, obviously some of the bigger cities in India, I saw a lot of trash problems and animals eating the trash. So to see that like a lot of these, especially nicer areas over here of, you know, nicer parts of Udaipur, most of Udaipur I found to be uh, relatively clean. And you know, the fact that there are waste receptacles shows that they're at least trying and then it's really up to the people to toss stuff out there. And so that's always, always good to see. Oh, looks like we got a uh, couple guys getting uh, videos right there, walking next to the lake. This is for sure the photo spot you want to be at. All right, so what's going to be next on the uh, the agenda? We're cruising around, finding some markets. Yes, and uh, the boating part also. TK, we got the uh, the kings here. Namaskar. No, namaskar. Okay, <laughs> see. <laughs> They're a bit shy. They're like, what's this foreigner with a camera yelling at me for? Yeah. Oh, guys. Listen to the nature. Hear that? That is peaceful India here, just outside of the city. I mean, in the city, you guys saw in my other videos, very peaceful over there too. Not the craziness of horns honking all the time, which sometimes I love, but right now I'm just in nature and I'm vibing with it. We're walking along the road here. That was the aquarium we were just at. And we're just kind of strolling through here. It's roughly 38 Celsius, 100 Fahrenheit. So it's definitely not a uh, cold day, let's put it that way. But it is dry heat, so it doesn't, like if this was a 38 Celsius, 100 Fahrenheit humid day, we would not be able to walk right now. Not as easy at least, and we'd be soaked in sweat. So I will tell you, I'm getting parched. It's almost time to find a little drink. Not too many of the drink stands are open now. It's more in the evening. Namaskar. Keseho Baisa. Uh, no, we're just doing a walk right now. Thank you. Yes, you shopping? Uh, no shopping. Filming. YouTube. Donivad? Yes, sir. Donivad? Funny guy. What a, hey, hello. Bye, Saab. Keseho. Hey, Bahota Cha. We're blending in with the locals, guys. Oh, no. uh, I mean, I'd say they probably think I'm from uh, Jaisal Mare. <laughs> yeah, because I got the desert beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably. All right. Funny guy. Oh, and we're in the boat territory. And East Land. East Land. And that's a hotel over there? Uh, maybe a restaurant. Hmm. So, guys, we got a lot of shops right oh. here. And it seems like with how hot it is, they've got the blankets hanging down. The curtains, actually, not blankets all along it and that's at least masking the shops and the people from the ultra hot 
desert sun that we're facing here in Rajasthan. Hello. Good, a lot of good salesmen here. But uh, what do you think, bro? Cold beverage somewhere? Yes. Yeah, let's get a cold beverage. Who's got the best cold beverages around here? You think this one does? They have cakes. Yeah, this is the one then? Yeah. Perfect. Let's do it. Oh. Namaskar. What do we got going on here? Cold drinks? Cold drinks. Bohota truck cold drinks? Oh, very good, very good. What are we thinking, bro? Check it out. Yeah, alright, well, should we take a seat then? Yeah. Alright, what do we got going on here? I'm not hungry for any food. Cold drinks though, what do we got? Iced tea. Can I please have a uh, one iced tea, please? Yeah, uh, the iced tea is made with filtered water. Yeah. Can you check to make sure it's made with filtered water? Filter water, sir. Mineral water, sir. Mineral water, sir. Man, I Iced tea. Take it. Take it. And then one, uh, bo two bottles of water. Water. What do you want to drink, bro? Just for now, water. Mineral water, one can Yeah. Iced tea, mineral water, one can I see mineral water. One iced tea. Wow, a human's best friend in the desert, ice cold water, just lowered the body temperature about five Celsius. Brain freeze. Ah. Oh yeah, we got the iced tea that has just arrived. That was G double O D. Good. Ugh. Finished it. Oh yeah. Bohota cha iced tea. All right, guys. Two waters, a shake, and an iced tea came out to about 2:30 for us to cool down and refresh. So there's a little extra for our man. Daniyabad bicep. Oh yeah, we got extra for you. Daniyabad. All right, chale chalo bicep. Chalo. All right, here we go. And hello. We are back on the streets, guys, of Udaipur. And we're gonna see what else we get into. We're gonna walk down this way a little bit. Not sure what else we're gonna get into. I was thinking, like, when we started this video, guys, I was thinking maybe we would take you on a jet ski ride, but apparently uh, the tuk tuk driver told us there was an accident back in at some point, and so they stopped doing the jet skis. Now there's only boats. So, probably gonna skip the boat then for today. I was hoping to get some need for speed, but uh, I guess not today. Oh, we get just teleported right into the tuk tuk here, guys. As you can see, these are our final looks. Yeah, there is a boat place open right there, but uh, probably seemed like somewhat of a similar boat ride to what we went on in like two videos ago when we took you for a tour to the other island, so skipped it. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna end this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed coming with us to the aquarium and checking out this side of Udaipur. A really cool side to check out if you're coming here as a tourist. You wanna see this place. I enjoyed it a lot. It's beautiful around here. We have, I don't know if that's a home or a, uh, or a hotel or what, but like all of the gardening around here, very lit up. There's bikes you can rent, so lots and lots of good stuff. So if you enjoyed that one guys, smash that like button. If you want to see more videos both here in India as well as all around the world, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.